welcome back. If you are considering renovating any part of your house, there are many things to consider before signing on the dotted line. So Aaron is back to share some of the do's and don'ts. And Aaron, let's start with something that can make or break your reno and it's hiring a contractor. Seriously, finding a good contractor is always a challenge. So my favorite tip these days is actually to use fake uh, Facebook. You have neighborhood groups on there. Get into your neighborhood group, ask your friends and neighbors who they've used, and you'll get personal recommendations of people who actually work in your neighborhood. And then you need to check references. You need to contact those people and you need to speak to them and see what happened on the job because everybody has different expectations when it comes to projects. And then finally, you need to speak to at least two or three contractors before you finally pick the one that you're gonna go with. It's like dating, it totally is. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, arguably maybe more important than dating because you want to make sure that this contractor doesn't ghost you and you've already spent so much money. It's like what questions should be, you be asking uh, when you're interviewing these contractors? Basically schedule, when can they start? Scope of work, you have to be really specific and tell them exactly what you need. Don't leave anything to chance. Payment schedule is a big one, so you really have to think about how you're going to schedule the payment through the project and never pay 100% up front. And then you also have to think about warranty on the project too. Is there any warranty on the work they're doing? Have they been in business long enough to actually support that kind of warranty too? These are all really important questions that you have to ask as you're going down the road of picking the right guy to work with or girl. All right, no matter what the quote is, you should always budget a bit more, am I right? You need that contingency because you know what? You never know what you're gonna find once you open up the walls, no, house, no matter how new or how old the house is. So that contingency will help you deal with those situations. So whatever the quote is, you need to think at least 10 to 15% on top of that and be ready with that money in hand if, if push comes to shove and you need to figure a few things out on the fly. Okay, so once the project has started, what do you re recommend we do, Aaron? So really with the project, you have to make sure once the ball is rolling is you do not make any changes because that is the death knell when it comes to your budget. You really have to make sure that everything is, all your ducks are in a row lined up in front beforehand, all your decisions have been made, all your finishes and choices have been done. You can't kind of go halfway through and say, you know what, I think I really wanted a bathtub instead of a shower because you are going to be paying through the nose with that. Okay, um, the other thing you say, Aaron, is to actually be quite forgiving with yourself and be kind to yourself. Why is that? You really do have to be, listen, it's a stressful thing to go through. Having just been through a major one myself, <laughs> I can personally attest to that. So it is a stressful thing to go through. You need to practice self-care when you're going through a renovation, for sure. So try not to put too much extra stress and pressure on yourself. If getting food on the table means ordering in every now and then, it's fine. If laundry gets pushed to the side every now and then, it's fine. You need to be available to manage the project, to deal with the contractor, and to answer any questions as they come up as the project goes on. So you need to have that part of your brain kind of set aside to deal with all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and maybe if you're part of a couple, put some money aside for therapy, couples counseling. They don't call it divorce Absolutely. dust for no reason. Right? And a massage. <laughs> and a massage. <laughs> yes. One last thing. Is now the time to go on vacation? Now that your house is being rented, do you just get out of town? Listen, that is a trick that my mother employs all the time and it drives me bananas. <laughs> so no, you need to be around. You don't book a trip away to a spa or a weekend <laughs> to stay with friends or relatives. You need to be available. You should be speaking to your contractor every single day. You should be looking at the work every single day. And if there is an issue, you need to address it immediately. Really, really good tips there, Absolutely. Aaron. Yeah, thank you. For